So this is a great example of good working um, upstream and downstream O2 sensors, also known as pre-cat and post-cat oxygen sensors. So on this one we've got bank one, sensor one status, which is here. And at the moment we're holding lean because we're just idling. And then we've got the post cat or bank one sensor two, which is also remaining stable um, because the, the, the gases have been stabilized through the catalytic converter uh, and that's given you a fixed amount of oxygen uh, in the gases. So, as you can see, the yellow line is bank one, sensor one. So this is the upstream pre catalytic converter O2 sensor. And you can see it switching between rich and lean to maintain lambda one. Lambda one is a ideal stoichiometric ratio of air and fuel, which is 14.7 parts air to one part fuel. So the red line is our lambda, which is trying to maintain all the time, lambda one. And the yellow line is our O2 sensor before the catalytic converter. And the um, lilac line is our O2 sensor after the catalytic converter, which should remain stable. So this is exactly how you'd want to see both sensors working pre-cat sensor switch in and the post-cat sensor remaining stable. So if I rev the car now and let you have a look at these values closer. So you can see that the lambda value has gone up and down according to when I rev the engine and you can see that the O2 sensor responded also to a lean and then back down to a rich and then it will keep now that it's idling it will just keep switching a lot quicker as the post cat sensor also stabilizes back down to what it would normally be at and if I hold the accelerator as if I was cruising along at 2000 rpm approximately see if I can hold it steady it just switches a lot faster but also still is maintaining good fuel mixture lambda one so yeah if you don't see that switching on your on your pre cat bank one sensor one O2 sensor, you know that it's not working properly, or you might have a, a running issue which is keeping it pegged at rich or lean. And if you've got a problem with your catalytic converter, then your bank one sensor two post cat O2 sensor will not be stable, it'll be fluctuating. is not operating properly it could be clogged it could be could have a hole in it it could be broken up or it could be melted so we'll come back down to idle now you'll see that the signals will stabilize out and then they'll start switching again the yellow line on the bank one sensor one will start switching and the post cat sensor will level back out again and we remain at lambda one, which is what we want to see. You can see it's constantly going rich, lean, rich, lean. So it's all like a balancing act. If you imagine a seesaw, that's all it's doing. It's just seesawing 
a little bit fuel, a little bit less, a little bit more, a little bit less, a little bit more, a little bit less. And it's trying to do that as quick as possible to keep the seesaw level. And the seesaw level is what we want. We want lambda one. We want we want a good fuel burn. We want a, a correct mixture so that we don't get a poorly running engine that's overheating or using excessive fuel. Right, like and subscribe. I'm making more videos.